Okay. When, uh, when you're ISOing, how do you decide if you're getting into your step back or if you're putting it on the floor? Uh, I don't know. That depends on the game, you know. Now always the same decision, so uh, I really don't know the answer to that question, but it depends on the game. Depends on that, if the step back's falling or who's guarding you, or like what are the factors you're considering? Yeah, there's a lot of factors. You got to look at it uh, who's guarding you, if the shot's going in or not. You know, there's a lot of, to think about and then decide. And then it feels like you added that kind of mid range one legger that you pivoted into, the old Dirk step back or Dirk the one legger. Uh, what does that do for, for your game you know, as far as the side sets go? I mean, just. Adds another shot that is, you know, tough to guard. Uh, it's really tough. It's fadeaway, you know. Uh, Dirk always did it. Uh, it's a fadeaway that's tough to block, tough to defend. It just adds another shot to my isolation. Did you ever try to get you to go one on one? No, no. Not well, yet. Not you're yet. putting it on the floor if he's guarding it. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably him. How much different has this training camp been as opposed to trying to absorb Jason Kidd's defensive philosophy as opposed to last year, getting it for the first time? Oh, well, it's the same. Uh, I think we're doing a great job. I think we do a better job this year, you know, because uh, we've been together for one year. Uh, we know what he wants from us, and I think it's a lot easier for us and for them this year, and I think it's getting better. Do you see you guys being more of a defensive-minded team this year than last year? Yeah, I mean, if we want to win the championship, we got to be a defensive team, so that's our goal. How do you feel coming off of your last year? It's now been like three weeks or so. Like, just fatigue-wise, how are you? Oh, I'm good, you know. Uh, I had about a week off after the year basket, uh, but I'm good, you know. I took, I was sleeping a lot. Mm, I rege regenerate, so I'm good to go. You, how has that plan been? Just kind of, I know Jason said he wants to keep easing you back in. How has it been to kind of be patient with that, knowing that you do want to play so often? I mean, I did everything, so just not the first day, and I didn't play in Tulsa, but other than that, I did everything. Do you think you're going to play Friday? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Probably. <laughs> with, with the exception of Jalen Brunson, you guys are bringing back basically everyone. How important is that just for you as a player to have that chemistry going the same roster? You know, as a team? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we have chemistry. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that were here last year. We had some new pieces, but the chemistry is the same. It's good. When you hear your name mentioned in the MVP conversation, Luca, what goes on for your mind? Well, it's good, you know. Uh, not everybody can say they were MVPs in the in the league, in the best league in in basketball. Uh, but you gotta get to there. You get to there, you know. Uh, you just can't have your mesh, your, your name mesh. You just gotta you gotta get to there. I know the goal is to win the NBA title. Is it winning the MVP another goal for you? I mean, yeah, obviously, it wouldn't be bad to win MVP. <laughs> Superstars, they always say, add something to their game uh, pretty much every year. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a lot to, to add to your game, but what did you put made as your point of emphasis or, or points of emphasis this year? Uh, not specific, winning. I didn't have much time to do individual work. Uh, I was practicing with the team, you know, uh, but let's say winning. Uh, we had some meeting with the refs, uh, but I already knew it, you know, it's European rule. So, uh, but I think this should be two feet instead of one. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask, how much of an advantage do you think that is, having kind of grown up and having played every summer with that rule, and as opposed to some players who might not have as much familiarity? I mean, yeah, for me, I think it really don't change much. I think it's for guys like John Morant, you know, they're quick in transition. I'm not, so I don't think it changed much. For me, uh, but yeah, I know the rule. Uh, I've been playing with it a long time, uh, but it's really not that hard of a rule. You know, you just gotta go for the ball. That's it. If you go for a ball, you're gonna get a normal foul. What did you take early in your uh, early in your career from studying tape of LeBron and studying tape of James Harden? Uh, I don't know. I mean, how they grab great basketballs they are. You know, there's a lot of stuff they do great. Uh, he's good, you know, he's competitive. Uh, he talks a lot, uh, sometimes too much. But he's been good, you know, he's been energetic. Uh, you know, it's his first NBA season, and, you know, he puts the work out there. And he's been really good for us, as you can see.
Yeah, yeah, for sure. If not, you know, coach wouldn't put him in the games and it wouldn't count on him, but for sure, yeah. Do you see? Sorry? Have you taken advantage of any rookie perks with him? No, no, no. I don't do that. Just on the court. It's nice. Yeah, I just play. Do you see it that there's going to be a big drop, drop off from Luton and Bronson? Uh, how, how do you see that? No, I mean, you know, you always, I always uh, respond the same as I got like. 340 or question about Brunson this summer. <laughs> uh, we can replace him. It's JB. You know, you, you can see how much he gave us. He gave us uh, a lot off the court, on the court. He was a great guy and great teammate. Uh, but you know, we got new teammates. We got to focus on what we have and not what we don't have. And we just got to focus on our team here. You got McGee and Wood. Where do you see that, those two guys add to this team? Yeah, a lot of size. You know, uh, he can do a lot. Uh, he can. Put the ball on the floor. He can defend. He can block shots. Uh, Javel is just a big, big guy inside, and he can block shots. He can impact the defense very much, and with the lobs, you know, he can be out there, get us extra possessions. Spencer Dinwiddie came off the bench. Jason talked about how he likes the way he runs the second unit. Uh, if, if he's not starting next to you, you change the way you play at all, and you don't have him. No, I, change, I play the same way always, but you know, the, who's gonna start, who's gonna bench? That's that's a question for coach. So you gotta talk to him. You mentioned the quickness. There's a rumor out there that you're quicker than you look. Is that fact or fiction? Oh, it's facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. As this guy from practice. You know. Four, three, forty. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Are you looking for contact when you drive? I mean, yeah, you, you got to use the contact. If you use contact correctly, it's, uh, it's a big advantage, you know. Uh, for sure, you got to look. I mean, the defender almost all, every time, you know, uh, puts a hand or a body on me, so it's always contact on the drives. But you can create space if, if you're the one kind of initiating that, that can create space for you? I mean, yeah, probably. Every year, look, we always say how, how tough the West is. Is it tougher than it's been since you've been in the league? I mean, I don't know if it's tougher, but I think it's tougher than last season for sure. You know, it's uh, clear. I think Clippers going to be very good. Uh, there's a lot of teams that are going to be really good, and it's going to be tough. You know, even to make the play is going to be tough. You're going to you have to go 100% for every game. What are the emotions for you just personally going into another season? Excitement. Excitement, that's it. Just being here in NBA playing basketball is exciting. Thank you.